Here we go, a new in collection video on the heels of the Grondwerk I did with Peter. If you haven't noticed it in your feed, um, it is the Ulver trilogy we did, uh, which will show up later again, I guess. Um, for now, this is a new in collection, and this is a order I did from Jeff Don Reed. I asked him to do a uh, Unearthing Darkness a video together with me, but he is not for stepping into the limelight, so. It is just going to be me talking about the records. I bought some of his distro, some of the label, and then some of the sale he is having. Um, he's purging his collection, which is quite extensive, I guess. There's hardcore black metal. There's everything in there. So yeah, that's it. On the record player for now is the Entroned promo uh, 94 on Medieval Prophecy Records, which is out now and I guess selling fast because I see it popping up a lot, um, like all of his stuff does. So check it out if you're into Entrones, Belgian Black Metal. Like I said, it will pop up later. Uh, one, two, about ten records. Some not Dawn Reed related item in the end and some seven inches. The first one is Wairloga, I think. A US entity, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty new to the scene. Uh, two tracks on here, Liar and Enemy. I think this had a tape release first and now it's put on seven inch by two labels, if I'm not mistaken, Dawn Breed and Dawn Breed and King of the Monsters, which I didn't know. Um, screen printed, cardboard or paper stock, nothing on the inside. It has a castle, it has moons, it has skulls and a bat, so you kind of know what to expect. Uh, two, get, two great tracks, I uh, checked it out on uh, the band camp before and then it, all of a sudden it popped up on uh, Dawn Breed. He's releasing some killer stuff lately. He was doing death metal for a while, or mostly death metal for a while, um, but it seems a lot of black is creeping in too, so a strong release. Black and Red number one. Black and Red number two is this one. A death metal grind release, if you will. Larvae with sickening cadaveric perversion. I uh, talked about their tape, remember Disgusting Dennis. He is back with his um, female counterpart. Uh, Lucilia Sericata and Disgusting Dennis. So yeah, vocals, guitars, cadaveric synths and Dennis is bass, drums. Yeah, two tracks, ne mm, Necroleptic Apparitions and Sickening Cadaveric Perversions back again. Yeah, on the strength of their uh, demo, I picked this one up, uh, two new tracks. Is this also a split release? Yes, with Stygian Black Hand. There you go. And on read of course. There is something on the inside, some zombie stuff. There is the man I talked about. And then... What's her name? Lucilia, who does the vocals. They are from, where was it? Was it Belarus or something like it? Or... I'm not sure anymore. Eastern Europe. Um, it comes with a sticker that has the cover and then there were two versions. I think a black and then this... Is it... Yeah, it's not red smoke. It's just basically a dark red blood pus colored record. So yeah, two nice split releases for Dawn Breed. Um, and like I said, the sound just continues from the demo. Basically another demo or an EP if you will. So yeah, that's two in a hole. And uh, uh, Douda Dagger with, oh, Jesus Christ, Svartabanskin, but the other one is, you know, too long and too Swedish. Ancient Records, the patch I put in myself. I had it laying around forever. I never put it on a jacket, but this is on uh, Purity True Fire and Ancient Records, or licensed by Ancient Records. So, Svartadout is one of his aliases. It's been some time since I uh, put something on by him. Primitively recorded in 2011. This was one of the projects I didn't have too many. I'm not sure if I have anything by them record wise. Yeah, there we go. B side, A side. Nifty little 7 inch with two tracks on here. Doesn't specify actually. Two tracks, sorry. No, no. It's S and N, so. 
Sir M and Svartad Autos, but it doesn't say how many tracks or anything on here. It's probably it's just a session. Um, we'll pick by him once again. Uh, probably just a session they played, half improvised or something like that. But yeah, cool to have nonetheless. For a decent price. Also for a decent price was the first Bone Owl 7-inch. Uh, he had it in his collection. It was not cheap for a 7-inch, but it was not too expensive considering what it is. This is also Klaxon number 1. Uh, and in my hunt for Klaxon records, it kind of fits. Uh, this was limited to 400, it seems, and this is 218. Uh, very primitive, punk sounding black metal. Some skulls on the inside. Primitive Instinct, Night is Indifferent, Change of Cowardice, Gunpower Musk, and No Longer Human. Recorded in Fall 2000, Winter 2003. 2002, 2003. So. Cool to have. You don't see these popping up often. Or I haven't looked, but man. Yeah. Simple 7 inch Bone Owl logo. Klaxon stack on the back. So I Thanks, Jeff, for hooking me up. In the sleeve. And then, the full lengths. The first four are a black and green drop, basically. Uh, the first one is Valak with, I have to see, Burning Dawn of Vengeance. Uh, I have his demo on tape. I haven't been following up too much with the entire Banner of Blood. Mostly due to the fact that the VAT rules are changing and that ordering from them directly. I, I'm not ordering from the States anymore. Um, for now, just to see what it will be, because I don't want to pay extra 50 for four records or something like that. But uh, Black Gang Green pressed it on vinyl, and this is then Black Gang Green and Banner of Blood um, to coming together to do this split release. I think they did the CD tape version, and then Black Gang Green does the vinyl version. Um, yeah, he gets some heat on um, social media, but who does not? I kind of enjoyed the, or I enjoyed the demo tape, so i um, pretty sure I will enjoy this one too. One Man Project, not sure where from in the States, but Better of Blood logo, I think it's like this. Yeah, pretty sure it's like this. And then the other side is the title. Burning Dawn of Vengeance. Good title. Um, yeah, if it has the black and green stamp on it, you know I'm pretty loyal to labels by now, so I um, tend to give it a spin, tend to give it a buy. Um, we'll see what it gives. Then the second one from that drop was the Ancient Stone Nachtlich. Um, I've talked about Nachtlich in the past that I don't, that I have a hard time getting into them, but I keep trying, so points for that, I guess. And once again, since it's the black and green stamp on it, I haven't heard of Ancient Stone. It seems it's a one man project. Uh, nicely printed fold over cover. Good pictures there from both bands. Um, yeah, tracks for Ancient Stone are from one to, let's see. 8, 9, 10, 11, I guess, 11 tracks on here, that's a lot. And then uh, Nachtlich has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 tracks on here, so that's a bit more manageable. There you go. The inside, there you go, a group effort. Kind of like the picture, but it's kind of weird too. I like that you first see the three black figures and then the two white hooded figures in the back, so it's actually well done. Yeah, cool picture. Um, yeah, we'll see if Nachtlich clicks this time. It's from the Carrion Cult, or, or close to the Carrion Cult, I should say, but I don't know. We'll see, I like everything else by them, so I'm not sure why this isn't clicking. The last tape was kind of okay, but there you go. Very cool center labels, I think. Yeah, weirdos. But cool to see Black and Green picking up this stuff again. Um, so I can continue delving into Nachtlich. Records done, I'll switch to tape. 
we are listening to, hmm, here we go, something in Greek, and then Intransigence, uh, the guy behind Cavern on Resilience. So will show up in a tape delay, of course. It is more neo-folk, post-punk-ish, uh, instead of Cavern being pure black metal, but I liked it. I, the cover kind of grabbed me, uh, and the fact that it's on Resilience, so it's those handcrafted nifty little tapes. That's what's playing. Uh, the last from the Black and Green update is the Medieval Dark Arts by Blood Ceremony. Blood Ceremony by Blood Magic. Blood Ceremony is a different beast. Uh, Blood Magic, this came out on... What was that label? The tape label? Ritual Abuse? Yeah, I'm not going to grab it. I think Ritual Abuse. Maybe it's on here somewhere. Spiritual disease, there we go. Almost, almost. Um, so yeah, the vinyl version came out to Black Gangrene, big ass logo on the back uh, by our man Lamb, um, which is also again an incredible logo. It looks half finished, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. So you see the sigil coming through here. It's kind of weird that the, the white just transfers into yeah some detail work but love it um i when i heard it first i was more impressed by um by the uh, the overall sound of it i think the tape version worked better than the final version i'm not sure i need to give it a few more spins i am in love with this picture it's one of the more mental images i have seen put on the records by a human um, this, so this is the text and info inlay once again with the logo uh, but yeah, like I said, the more I listened to it, the less it gave me. I had the feeling, but I'm not sure, like I said. I have to compare the tape again to see if I hear what I'm hearing, but still a very entertaining record. Again, the logo on the center label. So yeah, great looking records, that's for sure. Medieval Dark Arts. I played it in a state of benevolent or how you want to call it it was late at night so can't really speak to it but still the tape was good so i can't imagine why the record wouldn't be and then one of the last offerings from uh, the bosnian scene uh, susa s-u-s-a with um v like Svigeri, i think i don't know what it means of course but yeah it took me a while to see what is on the cover, but it seems it's an uprooted tree once I had the um, the vinyl in hand. Um, another project by the Bosnian troupe, and I haven't had a chance to listen to this, so very excited to know what it sounds, because it will be different knowing them, but not sure. There is an inlay here, so there are four tracks on here. Side B is one big track, and it's all in Bosnian, I think. I will break the pride of your power and I will make your heavens like iron, your earth like bronze. Leviticus 26, 19. So, it delves into religious mystique, I think, but it looks a bit mental. One man project? It feels like a one man project, but I'm not sure. It doesn't specify who is playing what on here, so. Yeah, the back. Matte finish on this one, so. Really nice black and green hits it out of the park almost always, I think. Records, like always, black, just a big B on that side, and then the Susa logo. There you go. So, yeah, this one is going on next, and we'll be playing in the next video, which is another new in collection update. So, yeah, that was the black and green drop he. Um, <coughs> he had for me or he was keeping for me it seems there is a new or there is a new drop and the Vlad Tepes record is in there so it's still available even from Black and Green cheers to them uh, two more records the first one is the Spectral Wound it took me a while to hunt down a Diabolic Thirst the, you've seen the memes uh, the Blake cover if you will um, I it took me a while to get the the other the previous records too because i listened to it and it it grabbed me but for some reason it sometimes happens you don't pick up the records um 
Same with this, this was on Profound Lore and kind of expensive to get. Uh, just also from the European distributor and I had some problems with that distributor so I wasn't keen on um, hopping onto it and I was thinking I'll buy it on the in the distros but um, it kind of sold out quick in the distros too so luckily Jay or Jeff had some lying around or had one lying around maybe um, so this is it this is my copy um, ba -ba -ba -ba, six tracks on here uh, and it's sound wise a continuation of the earlier material I think it's less spun out maybe a bit more direct from what I remember listening digital um, text sheet in here picture of them in the basements pretty sure the one bulb basement um, and yeah it's a good looking record that is because it is Vendetta was also very good looking but this is on profound lore um, so it, yeah it's not pixelated or anything like some records uh, it is like this picture with some candles and him sleeping on the table track list title and the logo which I'm not a big fan of, but you know, to each their own. This was actually very nice for him to uh, sell this to me at cost because these are records that go up in price on the second hand market, which is a shame. But yeah. That is the nature of the game. The last one I got from his um, collection, if you will, the uh, Aptorian Demon with Libertus. There you go. One of the records that was on my want list for a long time just because of the fact that it doesn't show up in distros very much this is also a repress of the original i think this is from 2019 or something like it um it's not going to be on here but yeah one of those records that always caught my eye just the way it looked and it's a very good record um it comes with a text a red, you know, just printed text sheet, and then it has the cover picture. <coughs> ah, bless you, thank you. It has the cover picture that was in there for some time. Um, so yeah, it has a hotmail address where you can mail to Apocalyptic Empire Records. So yeah, there's some contact info on there. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I thought this was a Norwegian project. Um, guest artist Torns is, for example, on here. So yeah, I guess it's a Norwegian party. Word of Mansion, uh, Mare, Celestial Bloodshed, Minif. So yeah, it's all Norwegian stuff. So yeah. Pretty sure I'm on the mark with that one. Always linked it to Territory Possessions, so um, should be right. This is the silver and purple variant of that. I'm not sure what the original was, probably black, but there should have been a color. It has a very hard time picking up the color. Or it's a bit better, maybe. Gorgeous looking records. Kind of doesn't fit the aesthetic of the cover, but it, then again it does, because you can imagine the hood he is wearing is kind of that purple shade. Uh, but yeah. Nice to finally own this record. It's not that it's an expensive record because it's actually pretty gettable on this card maybe, but never pulled the trigger on it until now when I saw it pop up on his oh, on his list. There you go. Time, 20 minutes. Yeah. The last thing is a release from him. Another duo release, and this is the Nidendiff 187 Swedish mid or late 90s mid? Yeah, I think mid 90s bands. Uh, this is the box set compiling their two records uh, the Imperium and then two words Judgment, Dawnbreed and Denny Hill records very affordable yet very gorgeous looking box set. It's not very thick but it is very nicely done. Spark loss on the covers with the logo which cuts like a knife I like it Looks incredible. Great job on this. Um, what this is, it comes with a sticker, which is also very nice. Two-tone sticker, could have just been black, but there you go. 
a booklet kind of explaining stuff, the Towards Judgment recorded in 95-96, original demo mix restored and remastered, then the Imperium recorded and mixed in 96, so yeah, mid-90s. Big picture, sleeve and info, a bit info about the records and how it was recorded and how it was, you know. 13 people killed and thousands injured as a direct result of the release of sarin gas into the subway of Tokyo. So it deals with some um, uncliched topics, I would say. Um, not Satan or anything, but it seems urban terrorism is the game here. Uh, there are two sleeves, two... Is it black? There is some... don't know if that will show up. There is some light texture drawing on there but uh, it seems it's all crosses and stuff like that so it's hard to see this is the towards judgment simple sleeves but it kind of fits the aesthetic and this is the red black smoke version of this one it's a double LP of course and it's cool they made it a box set actually same deal here, kind of textured, there is something there, but it's hard to see what it is. It looks like a mountain. Imperium, uh, a bunch of tracks, Genocide, Judgment, Dawns in the Twilight of War, so yeah, Execution, Hate, Mass Murder, Mass Burial, Disorder, and The End. Once again, this is also on a very beautiful, thick red vinyl with black smoke going through it. So yeah. If you are a fan of the sound or just of the band it is very worth picking up very worth your time and money i think it's 35 euros or something like it i know nuclear war now has copies or had copies um and i don't know how many were pressed exactly maybe 500 total I'm not sure but yeah look into it um one of the bands that's popped up in my search for mid 90s to late 90s stuff uh, and then all of a sudden there was an entire box set for me to consummate, so cheers to that universe, if you believe in that stuff. Last thing, we can do a 25er. This monster, speaking about box sets, uh, heroin makes happy the psychonautic satanic sickness, uh, the bastard son of darkness from Kalsamkeit, his other project. Uh, 13 candles, it says here, I'm not sure to what that is, but this is on Liver Mortis and Narmentage, another duo label coming together to make this completely weird thing. Um, it's all pasted on, but it kind of fits the aesthetic of um, what the project is and what, what the labels are going for. More Narmentage than um, Liver Mortis, but anyway, it fits. I bought this. This was a Discogs get uh, from a seller that sold his first record. This was the first thing he bought, so I was kind of weary, especially because the price was like 100, 120 euros since it's 150 at Livre Morte, so definitely under the price. I talked to the guy a bit and then decided to pull the trigger. Um, yeah, it's the in, close to the entire um, discography of Heroin Makes Happy. Five records in here, nothing is better than. Um, they are a bit mismatched, so I have to look into, you know, there's this one which is different from the sleeve. I haven't had the time to put them all together, but a lot of stuff on here. Um, what this is, is more of the Saarland stuff. Yeah, it's it's not Grausamkeit, it's more weird, actually. It is in the vein of the drug darkness of the Kalfried, all of that stuff. Um, but then the original, if you will, um, always, every record comes with this little patch. Then the demos 2000 with Donald Duck going to town on his arm. The artwork is completely insane. Patches keep falling. This is the Kardashian patch or the Kardashian artwork. If you see the sheer amount of tracks on this box, it is insane. The back, front, and it's these Liver Mortis fold over 
screen printed styles. The sleeves. There we go. Total drug worship. Um, drug influenced dark key music. So yeah, that's the perfect way to describe it, I think. Um, A. Bellinger, all synths, drumming, and vocals. Looks insane. The entire set looks insane. <clears throat> and I'm, like I said, for um, for under the price of the retail, it was a no-brainer to finally pick this up because I was under the impression that I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, wasn't going to see it. I, um, you from Babylon Doom Cult, kinda asked if uh, if we wanted to pre-order this, but you know, for 150, it's a lot of money. So yeah, it makes really happy if you hadn't noticed. This one, uh, it's one, two, three, eight tracks on this one. March 99 by Junk Jesus, dedicated to Marcus, remastered by Travis, and so on and so on. Nothing much on the inside, as per usual. This is ripped a bit, but even that is part of the overall look of this thing. Don't worry, be junky. And the patch is... And once again, these are all mish, 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 mismatched. A weird looking patch. With an old lady. There are two more in here. I can't read this one. Last Silent Dream. Uh, Kong Rocks, or something like that. There's a lot of stuff to dive in here and it's going to take a while to uh, digest everything. Um, this was also from 99, um, March of 99 by Herrn Ye Jesus. Last Silence Dream Hong Kong Rocks. There you go. These are in the right sleeve, but then the patch is mismatched. That's the one from the other one. So, yeah, I have to do some puzzling. Then the last one is one of the more classic covers with the incredible creepy looking girl heroin is my queen so the drug queen junk jesus the only performance at this earth holocaustic ear holocausting oh, yeah. great <coughs> sorry ear holocaust is a great way to uh, also to describe this one nothing on the insides and then there you go close up of the girl or the guy i'm not sure who it is or what it is and a weird looking patch to round it off so yeah finally grabbed the box set put it safe there that's it uh the next update will be around again 10 records that will show up later this week or maybe next weekend i'm not sure um you know getting into the vibe again so the vibe that's it for now magic potion and I'll see you next week. Peace.